In this video, we're going to go over a new feature that ChatGPT just rolled out inside of their image generation system. So we're going to take a brief stop over in Google AI Studio to get our reference image and prompt. And then we will jump right into ChatGPT and test out the new features. So here we are in Google AI Studio, and this is a base prompt that we used in a previous video. So we will go ahead and copy that. And we will go over here into the library. Okay, now here we are in ChatGPT. And what we can do if we want to use the new feature is we go to tools, create image, and then we have this styles section here. And I don't know how long this has been out there, but it's new to me. So we're going to go through it. And we've got a few types of styles. We've got cyberpunk, anime, dramatic headshot, coloring book, photo shoot, retro cartoon. I can't imagine 80s glam selling, but Art Nouveau is pretty popular right now. And Synthwave has been a staple in Amazon Merch On Demand for some time now. So what I did was I took this base prompt and I applied a style and I hit go on all of the different styles that I think are good for print on demand. So I pre-ran them so we don't have to sit around waiting together. All right, so here we are with the Art Nouveau style. It's something that's been trending but has been around for a while now. And it has been selling pretty well on Amazon. And we've got this image here. You can see over here that we've got some stylistic references to the Art Nouveau style. And quickly here, we are now using the anime aesthetic. And basically what this style guide thing is doing is it's providing early context for how the image generator should approach the problem of creating this image. So We've got this anime style one. It's very kawaii and it would appeal to a pretty wide audience. So this is a good take. And here we are with the 1950s cartoon style. And this is also a good take. It's a little bit simpler. And the way that they handled the face, very 1950s vintage cartoon. Now here we are with the cyberpunk aesthetic. It's got neon accents, it's got glowing, it's got high contrast lighting. I'm not sure how well this would print, but if you're doing something that is not apparel, this could be very applicable to you. And in this one, we're doing the children's coloring book style. And I really like the simplicity of this one. You could put this on literally every color shirt, which is something that you don't usually get to do in Amazon. And this on its own will be appealing to a wide variety of people who prefer more simple designs. And the last one that we're going over that would probably be more suitable to the cat selfie niche is the ultra realistic photo shoot. And here we are. And this is obviously not optimized for apparel, but I wanted to see what it would do with that option. Okay, well, I know that was a very quick video. It's not really something that requires a ton of explanation but I wanted to make you aware of the fact that you could use some of ChatGPT's new built-in style guides in order to take your image generation in different directions all within the interface. So in this video, we basically scaled one prompt and we moved it across different styles. If you want to learn how to use a free tool to take a prompt and scale it across different themes for more unique designs, then I would check out this video over here. Thanks for watching and I will see you in that video.